Hello and welcome to the Scratch Coding Class. In today's video, I'm going to rank Scratch Blocks in a tier list. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and it will only take you two seconds. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start and first blocks is um, and or not. Very useful if you want uh, more than one um, condition. So I'm going to put that in the A, it's important. Then we've got um, asking a question. Very good way uh, to interact with the user and the user can actually type in an answer you, uh, you can use that um, to ask someone what's your name as an example so I'm going to put that in the B not essential to every script and the answer also goes in the B backdrop number and that's the number of the backdrop um, it's sometimes nice to know so I'm going to put that in the B though um, it doesn't really um, have um, a really good use and then we've got um, if Apple contains um, a certain letter in it, so in this case it's Apple contains A on Scratch, and that is an F, I, I don't really need to know why a word contains a certain letter, unless it's probably a hangman name, but there are other ways to code that. And then we've got mod, which is basically modulo, it's the remainder, when you divide two values. I'm giving that an F, I don't really need to know the remainder in um, any situation. And then we've got backdrop number of and I think you can change it to like um, backdrop name volume and uh, variables so I'm actually going to give that a C it's not that important and then we've got a uh, messaging and messaging is um, really handy if you want more than one script going on at the same time and it works um, it, one mess one uh, sprite can send a message to like basically all the sprites and I'm going to give that an A plus because it's very important to have more than one script going on when you have longer pieces of code. Then we've got variables. This is the change variable by. And a variable is a source of data and it's very useful to add or subtract stuff onto it. So I'm going to give that an A+. And moving on we've got um, uh, changing effects. And effects just make the sprite look good. They don't have any other use. I'm going to put that in the C because I use them sometimes but uh, not all the time. Then we've got um, changing pitch effect with a sound. I'm going to put all sound effects in the F. I don't really need to alter sounds and I could probably do that somewhere else in a different software, not Scratch. Then we've got changing um, the size by and you can just change size on the bottom right um, of the editor. Um, so I'm only going to put that in the C. Then we've got volume and volume I mean it is good to be able to adjust the volume of your music but uh, you, um, I'm just going to put that in the C because I don't even use it too much. Then we've got changing the X and Y coordinates. I use this when um, I'm coding the arrow keys, uh, very useful so I'm going to put that in the A. And then we've got graphic effects, clearing all of them. And I said effects would go in the C and then sound effects, well, sound effects are going in the F because I never even use them so clearing them is useless. Then we've got if a colour is touching another colour and I'm going to put that in the F because there's literally no point uh, um, to, to that block because it's usually if a sprite is touching but this is if a colour is touching another colour it just doesn't make sense. Uh, costume number that's going to be in a B. Similar to the backdrop number, it is nice to know um, the, the costume that the sprite is on. Then we've got um, cloning. And cloning, I don't use it that much myself because I just duplicate sprites for some of the functions, but uh, this can probably reduce um, lag on Scratch. Um, I, and most people would use this block, so I'm going to put it in the A minus. Then we've got current year and day since 2000. And uh, both of these blocks are, are uh, I'm going to put them in the F straight away, there's no arguing about that. Then we've got deleting clones, A- minus for cloning. Then we've got direction, and the direction is where the sprite is facing in degrees. And I'm going to put that in the B category, because uh, uh, I usually don't work with direction too much, so I don't really need to know uh, how many degrees it's facing. And then we've got a, a distance to the mouse pointer, and that is going in the F. I do not uh, uh, know why I would need the distance um, of the sprite to the mouse pointer. Then we've got 
uh, equals less than and greater than and these are going into a plus particularly the equals one is quite important because if you want to um, trigger and um, uh, um, use an if condition then you should uh, probably use equals and then we've got forever loop forever a plus you can repeat stuff infinitely and that is a real um, useful say if you make a timer and then we've got gliding to um, a random position gliding I'm gonna put that in the C because it's gliding it's not just moving instantly so um, I, I don't find myself needing that same with gliding to position um, again uh, not essential then we've got going forward lures and going forward one layer is going to be in the C category because it, it, um, I don't even use going forward there's that much and there won't be uh, that many sprites anyway so um, going in front of a layer is giving a B because really you'd only use it over about, um, one, uh, about two or three sprites maximum. Then we've got pointing towards a mouse pointer and that is getting a C pointing in the direction of the mouse pointer uh, quite useful if you want um, sprites to follow you but apart from that uh, that's that's really it and then going to x and y it this sets the coordinates for both the x and the y and then giving that an s because it is really important uh, to be able um, to um, determine where your sprite is on the backdrop if the sprite is probably on the edge and you can't even see it then there's not really a point in including it then we've got if then else and if then and I'm giving these A pluses and basically most programming languages uh, these are real uh, these exist because uh, they are needed um, for conditions and then we've got if on edge points and you would really only use this if you're making like a ping pong game on scratch so I'm going to give that a B then joining um, so string consultation and I use this usually with variables so you can uh, join uh, letters with variables I'm gonna give that a B and then we've got a key space press so it can't uh, just be space it can be any key and um, instead of using the one on the events which uh, we will come to later um, that is way more handy because you can do it in the script so I'm gonna give that an A minus then we've got the length of a, a, a word so I'm gonna give that a D it's quite useless I, I, I don't think I've really used it and then letter of that's a D because I, uh, I can just look at the word myself and just look if that's a letter whatever then we've got loudness a D I've never even used it the only time I have is when I was explaining um, all the blocks in six or seven minutes then we've got um, the mathematical function and that's a D because why not just get a calculator it makes more sense then and then we've got operators and operators um, like adding subtracting and giving that an A minus so it's, 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 it's quite useful but it's probably not as important as uh, and conditions and all and then we've got a uh, mouse so if the mouse is down that's a C and then voice x and voice y also a c not necessary then we've got moving steps and moving steps i'm going to put that in the a minus category because it is um, really good to move in the direction that you want instead of uh, figuring out um, the x and y coordinates and all that and then we've got backdrops and costumes so going to the next backdrop i'm giving that a and going to the next costume i'm giving an a useful to changing in between them then we've got picking random a value in the in the sort of range so that is going to get an a minus because I, I like using that when we um, when I code games to make stuff more unpredictable then we've got starting sounds sounds not not really important I'm gonna give that a C then we've got pointing in a certain direction and that's going to be an A plus because you, I, I, I do work with direction if, if, um, if uh, we're making the ball points for example and it needs to have a random direction 
and uh, really one of the only ways you can do that is with that block. Then we've got pointing towards um, um, a mouse pointer there. Um, direction, I'm probably going to give an A+. Plus. Then we've got... No, I'm actually not going to give that an A+, plus because that's a mouse pointer. I'm going to give that a C, in fact. And then we've got repeats. And repeats are um, very important. I'm going to give them A+, plus because if you want um, to keep repeating stuff instead of duplicating all the code and making um, the script really long, repeats are the way to go. Timer, a D. Resetting a timer, it resets every time you start a script, so there's, um, you, uh, you not really any other time you need to reset the timer. Then rounding is an F, because it can only round to the nearest whole number, it, ca it can't even round to like significant figures or anything. Really useless. Then we've got saying and thinking, and given that a B is a good way uh, if you want to tell the user information using the sprite, and this similarly goes into the B. Effects, I'm going um, to give them a C, and then we've got va setting the variable, and setting the variable and defining it, well that's an A+. Plus. Really, re really, that's uh, you have to start with that before you can even start changing the variable by, by a value, it needs to have a, a predefined value. And then we've got uh, setting a drag mode to draggable, it's a C. I don't really need to drag this by all that much, so um, it might be useful. And then we've got pitch effect F, which it shouldn't even exist. Then we've got uh, rotation style, and this is really important. If uh, you do not want the sprite to rotate uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise in a circular motion, if you just want the sprite to not rotate at all or anything, then that block is really one of the only ways to do it, so important. Size. Um, is going to go in the C category because you can just adjust the animation right. Then we've got volume. Volume also goes in the C category. Then setting a certain coordinate. Certain setting only the Y and setting only the X coordinate. I'm giving that an A. An example of using that would be in a catch game because uh, let's say you have apples falling from from the top. You, you probably only want to set the Y. You want the X position to be random. So would use that block, though not as important as setting both at the same time. Then we've got showing and hiding variables. I'm only going to give that a B because usually uh, you would want to stay the variables, so not really many times you'd hide it. And then we've got showing and hiding S because you can't even see the sprite, there's literally no point coding it. Then we've got size C again. And then sounds is going to be a B. So, and then we've got the stopping sounds. The stopping sounds is going to be a C. And then we're going to move on to the stop all, stopping and um, the scripts, uh, stopping all the scripts or stopping scripts and sprites. Very useful. You, you need to use it if you want to end code. So I'm giving that an A plus. Then uh, we've got switching a backdrop to. That an A is important. Then we've got um, switching costume to if you to a specific one. That is also an A. Timer, timer is a D. I've already explained it earlier. Then we've got touching, and um, touching um, a mouse pointer, or you touch any other sprite. Really, only useful in mazes. So I'm giving that a C. Same with touching color. I use it in mazes, but that's really about it. Then we've got turning degrees, that's going to be a B, because it is nice nice to be able to change their direction by a certain amount. Username, I'm giving that useless, it's, it's only useful in online scratch, if, if it's an offline scratch you can't even do anything with it, so I'm, I can't give that high. Then we've got my variable, and that is going to be an A+, plus. you need to value your variable. Then volume, volume is a C. And then we've got weirding. Weirding is that like you can pause in between blocks and that is really useful if you want to give other scripts time or something. So A plus in all programming languages I would use it. So wait wait until similarly A plus. When the backdrop switches to this is um, probably it's not as useful as the other starting 
distorted box in the script, so I'm only going to give that an A minus. Useful, but I don't use it too much. Then we've got when space key is pressed. I'm going to give that an A plus. And then we've got when green flag clicked, and I'm giving that an S. One of the first blocks I ever learnt when um, starting scratch. Then we've got messaging, and messaging I said earlier A plus multiple scripts at the same time, really cool. And then we've got clones, this, when I started a clone, is only, it can only be used for clones, A minus. When this sprite clicked, A plus, I, I, I use this a lot, it's one of the only ways you can do that. Then, when timer, well, when I see the word timer, that's only in a D. And finally, the X position and Y position of the sprite, and that is going to be in the A minus, because it is nice and smooth. And I think that has been all the blocks right. So unfortunately that's all we have time for today. Uh, so thank you so much for watching this video of the Scratch Coding class. If you enjoyed it make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe if you want to see more coding videos like this. And I will see you soon. Goodbye.